are these two the best underrated knuckleball free kick takers on the internet? Check this out. What's up everyone? Hope you guys are all well. I am so excited for today. I am finally meeting Just Knuckle It and Ben Rowe, the goal side. Those go to Ben Rowe. Ben put, if that goes in, I'm quitting YouTube. That's basically the comment that we asked you guys to put for a chance of a shout out. And he's going to get back into his YouTube channel. So best of luck with that, Ben. We wish you all the best. We have subscribed, so we'll keep up to date with your videos. Next shout out goes to Just Knuckle It. He put an essay comment. Really appreciate the comment, man. Your comments are on point every video. We notice them all the time. And we'll go and drop a few comments in your videos as well to say thank you for that. Two insane knuckleball free kick takers based in the US. We're currently at Penn Station waiting to get the train to Jersey Avenue, which is in the New Brunswick area. All new to me. I've never done this journey before or been in that area. So a new experience. It's like eight minutes away and we don't know where we need to be yet. <laughs> At least we're familiar with trains being delayed. This is just routine for us. I want to say they've been subscribed to our YouTube channel for over five years now. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Ben and Garrett? Yeah, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Kerry. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. you. Hi. Hi. But you guys are tall enough for you to be. Yes, sir. All six foot. I pulled up to that house and he's like, whoa, oh, you're way taller than I thought you were on video. Like, so, is this the first time you guys have met as well? Yes, yes. First time. Yeah, so we met yesterday. He's staying at my house right now. That's the point. Yeah. yeah. And how far did you travel to get to the event? It was like six hours. So, he lives in New Jersey. I live in Virginia. So, it's like about a six hour drive. Wow. And how far do you guys travel to get here? Uh, 50 minutes. I'm pretty okay, not too bad. Yeah, not bad. Wait, we're all here. Let's get into it. Yep. Let's just recreate it, pretend like yeah. it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Put the boot back like, down yeah, on the yeah, trunk, I'll, sorry. You can pretend I didn't open it. Up. That is unreal. Oh, I, I Ow! Open <laughs> the guys were saying Ben's 18 and Garrett's 19. That is insane. So when they were both watching us on YouTube, they were using other accounts because you have to be a certain age to create a YouTube channel. I will always be fascinated that in the States you can drive to a pitch and 90% of the chance you'll be able to just play on it. So we're having to move. <laughs> Got to find another one, but to give him credit, he wasn't too much of a goon head. The goal is there. You guys may be familiar that I've really struggled with matchables recently in terms of fixing them. And in the UK, it's really hard to get valve pieces specific for matchball. So I reached out to Garrett and I said, 
is it possible that you could get hold of some valve pieces for me and he's actually got them with him which to you guys may not sound like a big deal but this would have cost me 30 dollars plus just to ship to the uk and these are specific to the match balls thank you so much yeah that, that, that is so sick no worries and that'll save tons of money on the match balls of course they are oh thank you so much it's not a case if i don't want to fix the match ball it's more to the point of damaging it more right and the risk that there is to fixing it because you guys have seen with the terra pass ball I had an absolute mare with that and there's four valve pieces so four of these inside the ball still oh, okay. so when you do it do you have like a confidence that you're going to guarantee fixing it or is it a case of you're still nervous when you i'm do nervous it? every time so actually yeah. recently with ben who's also here yeah um we were fixing one of his match balls because we were thinking that it had a valve leak so we went and got like one of those pieces and yeah. we tried to find a tool in the garage so they would put like equal pressure on the sides of the valve so you could squeeze it in and it was the most precarious situation ever <laughs> like you should have seen us we're like shaking holding the thing like trying to push it in um but also like sometimes when you put like tire sealing in to like fix a panel leak or something like yeah. that's nerve-wracking too because i did it on one of my jabulani's actually and it just became heavier after that and so you do it once and like you don't want to mess the balls up afterwards that's so yeah. true and you guys will know we've had a few experiences with the jabulani where we tried the um that the method tire, tire sealant to fix it and it's the, the thing is as well you don't always know right so you, you'll inflate the football the next day and still you're still uncertain you wake up and it's like oh is it going to be right now and sometimes it's not but there is a lot of risk but if you can fix it you get the reward out of it don't you exactly and i mean we're not match ball scientists but like we, we do the best we can, we do the exactly. best we can. <laughs> there's no job titles out there fixing match balls although s.m i know that you want to fix the match balls for us and we are still yet to move but as soon as we move i'll get on it <laughs> yeah go for it so we're getting to the match balls now wow. this one from a collector in Argentina. But again, recently we got a slow puncture in this. Uh, so we haven't shame. been able to use it. And we were chatting in the car about free kickers having this ball right. as their main match ball. Free kickers, if you're, if you're watching this, could you please answer the question of how you have so many of these? I, I would love to know. Great question. Like, I don't, this is the rarest ball. This is one of the rarest balls to, to exist. Yeah. Like like now it's- Especially the, the power orange. The, the value, power the power orange, yeah. orange especially. I would just love to know, so. Uh, Great question, Conzi, yeah. get in there, yeah, go on. Conzie. <laughs> I think it's one of the nicest balls ever. Like, yeah, yeah. we got two of them. There you go, so it's not the same one. <laughs> yep. Look at that for a shot, that is unreal. You, you will not that. see this very often, guys. <laughs> two power orange Jabulani's in the same shot, that is insane. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Comment down below, guys, which football you would hand pick out of this collection in such good condition as well. A huge shout out to you guys at Soccer Post Brooklyn for hooking me up with this. A shirt that we cannot get in the UK as well. I couldn't come here and not bring anything. That's one for you. Thank you so much. And that's one for you. So no it's no way near as good as any of these, but I wanted to bring something that you guys can have that we see in our video. So this is an Umbro Pulse of Football that we use in our video. Thank you. That's sick. That's all really good. That's all right. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries. I really appreciate it. Yeah. We'll pump it up right now. Have you actually got yeah. a pump? Yeah. Oh, sick. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Happy days. Right now. And yeah, I'm excited to see you guys knuckleball with this ball. There you are. Nah, that ball's okay. It's actually okay. Look and up. just a little thing, the blue one was for you because of your channel being blue in that. Oh. And the red one for oh, you, yeah. the, the red connection. Red's my favourite right. colour. Yeah, so, thank so, you. so there, there, there was a meaning behind uh, the colour as well. I love it. What I've just seen through the lens there, through this, was just insane. Thank you. No, thank you, mate, honestly. When you can interact with someone on a personal level, in person, it beats anything. Any online communication, that in-person interaction is so crucial. And today, I'm getting that. We're here doing knuckleball free kicks. We're about to get started because there's so much to talk about. I feel like we've spent two hours just chatting and just getting to know each other more personally. And it's been so much fun. As you guys can see now, we're setting up. So we've got the cameras all set. Look at that. <laughs> just set up the GoPro. 
it's stress free if you just go out and take free kicks. Yeah. Right. Nice. Oh. oh. Excuse me, mate. Can you go get the ball for us? <laughs> First few rounds done. The techniques are there. There are very few people I've actually seen in real life that can hit a knuckleball. Like I can think of maybe two. So I only have like a couple people to compare like your guys' techniques yeah, to. Like same. it's very rare. That's quality. That, that's that's a great point. And as you guys know, I filmed with Dante, who was another knuckleball free kick taker, and obviously Liam on our channel, who has featured a few times. But it is very rare to have people that do a knuckleball free kick, like Garrett and Ben are saying. There you go. With that the was Monia. insane. The Magnus. Make the GoPro view on that is going to come real. I know. By the way. That's so sick. Going for two in a row. Let's see it. Oh, they. Oh no way! Oh. I almost did it. I almost had it. Oh. That is, that's an absolute killer. Any danger. Any danger. <laughs> Mate, that was, oh wow. I believe this is it. One of the biggest vibes about getting a banner is watching it back. It's, oh wow, oh, that flew, yeah. yeah. That's sick. Look at those reactions. For me, that's why I film a knuckleball, to be able to capture it. So sick. Look at this, made in July 2005. Wow. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, Ooh, nice. Nice. The guys are just finishing off. I've struggled today, I've really felt it. A whack session from myself. Garrett and Ben, credit to those guys because they have the same energy, the same enthusiasm to take the free kicks, but I'm having to put the brakes on. It's been a long week in New York. I've done a lot of traveling, a lot going on, 20,000 steps at least every day. So I am feeling it. I just feel like my technique is lacking at the minute. So that's something I need to work on. All right. 
I hope you enjoyed the free kicks that Garrett and Ben got especially. Ben had this really nice technique where the ball floats. And I was saying to him, the age that they're at, they're both at, especially Ben, he's got so much potential with his free kicks. When your legs develop as you get older, the power you're able to enable into the free kick technique will just be insane. And he'll see that and he'll recognize that in a few years time. And Garrett is insane. Probably the best knuckleball free kick taker that I've actually worked with in person because I've seen some things today that are generally mind blowing and he's only 19 years old, which is just ridiculous because I started the knuckleball free kicks when I was 18 and a year in, I don't think I was hitting free kicks like he is already. So fair play to him and Ben for their top techers. What is the worst bit for you afterwards? Mine is getting back and cleaning everything before I look through the clips. Looking through the clips is obviously a joy. What's your worst part of a session? I mean, I'm lazy, so I don't clean it every time. <laughs> but <laughs> the worst part, I mean, if it's like 100 degrees on turf, when I get into my car and my car is even hotter than the turf was, I'd say that's the worst part. I didn't even consider that. But wow. it turns around faster when you turn the AC on now. Gotcha. So. And Ben, what's your worst part about ending a session? For right now, I would say when my legs are sore and I have to go out and get every single ball that I kicked over. So there we go guys, all done for the session. We're going to continue the video with a few behind the scenes clips after this. But I want to say in person to both of you guys, thank you so much for having me. And it's honestly been an absolute pleasure hitting free kicks with you today. I have had the best time despite not getting a goal I'm happy with. You guys will be able to relate to this. Normally for me, coming away from a session with a banner is the ultimate goal for me yeah. in a sense of that production quality. But today I've accepted that actually the time we've spent together is more valuable than any goal I could have got today. And that's a credit to both of you. So a massive shout out to Garrett, Just Knuckle It, and Ben, Ben Rowe. All the information will be in the description for you guys to check out. I really cannot stress enough to you guys to take a look at their channels, their socials, everything in the description. And as you've seen from the start at the video, that was a little taste as to what these guys are capable of. Thank you for watching. Anything you want to add in the outro? Dude, I mean, it, it's been awesome, honestly, having Sammy here. I mean, I've been watching him since I was 12, I, I believe. Wow. And, and I'm 18 now. So he, he was one of the first free kick takers, you know, I've, I've seen on the internet and, you know, just, just, if you told me like when I was that age that I would actually meet up with Sammy one day, I would I wouldn't have, I wouldn't believe it, you know. So and this is this is still surreal to me. How old were you when you hit that insane looping knuckleball with the Jabulani? Because if you're 18 now, that's a few years back, right? Yeah. Yeah. I please, was, please share that. I was 15. Wow. Yeah, I was 15. And we'll insert that clip here for you guys to see again because 15 years old hitting a free kick like that. Yeah, that, that, that was my, that, that was like the shot for me. That was the shot that amassed like 10, 20 million views on social media. So it was, it was really crazy. It blew up that much? Yeah. Wow, yeah, fair play, man. And, and, and all that, yeah, it was crazy. You gotta give yourself more credit. That's insane, yeah. honestly. Wow, okay, Garrett, anything you'd like to add to end the video? Um, I mean, basically what Ben said, like I've literally been watching you since I was 12 years old, I think. Like I literally <laughs> grew up with your content. So like wow. what you inspired me to do and like now I'm making content about that. Now other people are getting inspired. Like you really were one of the first people that like started this whole chain of knuckleball free kick takers that have like amassed over the years. And it's just great to see that like you're still doing it. Like you're still being consistent, still going out to the field. Like that inspires me, it inspires Ben, I know. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just been a pleasure to meet up with you, really. That's awesome, man. Touching on what Garrett just said, these two right here are the next generation of knuckleball free kick takers. So if you think where I've been and the opportunities I've had, you guys have got 10 years on me, you're the next generation to inspire the next generation. And these two are the power. You're in more capable hands, everyone watching, to look up to these two as your inspiration for doing knuckleball free kicks. Thank you. There you Thank go. You. Yeah, no, I want to add that. That hit hard, that did. Those last few words from Gary and Ben, like, <sighs> reflecting in the moment. Normally, 
I would flex a week later, a month later. Like I'll get back home in a week's time and I'll feel like this, but I'm just having a moment to just take in what they said and I, just, I really can't express to you guys how much it means to me that I have the opportunity to make people feel a certain way and give them something to latch onto to have a purpose in life because it's so valuable and there's a lot of nasty distractions in the world but to have something that you're truly passionate about that you can enjoy and experience and meet other people and have sick days like this the fact the value of that will never be matched and I'm so grateful for those words that Gao and Ben and their actions, not just their words, their actions and how they've been with me today has really, really hit home and I'm just so relatable to it. I really understand. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> I've got so much to look through. That's going to make me start crying sad tears. But now on a serious, the energy, the vibes, you can't fault it. I feel extremely fortunate right now. Extremely lucky. Nuggle it. Nuggle it. Love that. <laughs> we're acting like proper tourists now, aren't we, of what we're doing next? What are we doing next? You know where we're going. Walmart. Walmart. Great, we're going into a Walmart. We gotta act like US YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. What's up guys? We're going into a Walmart today. We're gonna check out the food department. We're gonna buy some hot dogs because the 4th of July just happened, dude. You know what I'm saying? We're not like those US pranksters going in and wrecking the place. We're purely here for enjoyment and Kerry gets to experience Walmart for the first time. I'm excited for this. I really hope they have mug root beer because that is my favorite root beer really? and Target don't sell it anymore. So oh, I'm definitely after that. Let's see what else we can get. I finally found it. I'm so buzzed. Creamy Pepsi, oh my days. Jay Stewart definitely approve of the snacks we've just bought. <laughs> Mate, thank you so much. We're in a rush, yeah. aren't we? It's been real, man. <laughs> All right, man. Take care. Pleasure. Yes. A rare empty train, so sick to see. A quick message to end the video. You can watch our updated brand new knuckleball tutorial here if you like, or our most recent video just here. Thank you for watching guys, and we'll see you again very soon. What a day, knuckle it.